Hello, you beautiful people, and let, welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Sanctus Reach. And I was right again. The enemies are the enemies. It always seems like the AI is completely focusing on one flank. And that is what they did here as well. I do not know whether I like that. We are going to be having a hell of a fight here. I hope my land speeder is going to survive the next round of that. I'm not too, too certain. Well, it, as you see, it would. I ah, no, 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 no! Please not! Please survive! Please survive! All right, not good. No, that I did not expect. Oh crap! 215 damage. Come on! That is already so sad to see. 200 bloody 15 damage. At least these guys can stand their ground in close combat. That's a good part. So again, oh, don't move your land speeders up. 55 is alright, but 185, are you kidding me? There I really think that is too much close combat damage. That's really my personal opinion. And now they were going to fire at us and down we are. Of course I can understand there's the Herald of Singe that I want to take down. Of course I understand why the AI is doing that. But I don't like it. Damage potential very high against high, so we go with the auto cannon. At least one shot came through. Um, he would be able to help out in the next round on the other side of the match or on the zone here. Only close combat, but as I always say, best, better than nothing. So one turn, at least one squad down here, a little bit of retaliation, and yes, I will move up like that, fire this guy in the back, doing a little bit of retaliation here as well. These guys are going to move there, not really, I know, not really advancing, but better than nothing. This guy down, exactly what I wanted. So two units I do not like are goners. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing here. We move on a little bit. We move these guys on. Please do as much as you can, which is not much. Alright, that was better. That was way better. So I think I'm already going to move this guy on because we know, we know what is going to come at us from that flank. Thank you very much, I did not expect that, not at all. Sometimes my own units really surprise me and that is good, still I think from the amount of enemy units we've already taken down, we are in a very good standing. So that's the good part here. Okay, I had at least hoped that we could do something in close combat, but as you can see, no, not at all. So can you put out a couple of hits? Yes, then it. Maybe one more horror goes down. Uh, not what I wanted again. So, two shots, one kill, two shots, one kill, and turn there. I don't have too, too many shots available. So, two down on this side. And on this side, a couple of shots into them. Not too much. Woo! But we cleared out quite a bit of enemies. Quite a bit. 
I hope the Herald of Siege I can take down in the next round. For now, I will give up. I know there are a lot of club crushers chasing after us, but I really have the good hope. I have the good hope that we will give them hell in our next round. Although there are quite a lot of forces available and I need to chase. Do I need to chase the one unit there? That I of course do not know. Okay, that didn't do much. But that did much. 48 damage. Quite a lot. So I definitely have to do something against the Herald of Siege. So I want to take that one down. That was the only way I think he could move. But I didn't want to have him in the back here. So the big question I have, of course, where's the Herald of Siege? There we have him. Very high, high, so go with very high. Okay, then I do some bolter fire down. He is in the next round. I can take the combat to this guy. The question is, how do I deal with him? Okay, um, these guys move right there. So 20 damage is acceptable. Oh, come on, just hit, please. Then these guys are goners. There we have quite a lot of blood crushers coming up. So I will, of course, move them. Or at least I try to move my Terminators a tiny little bit in the way. To at least cover up some some firing thing or do a little bit of damage here. One squad down would already help us out, to be honest. Oh my god, there are so many. I definitely need all my units available here. So this despoiler, I think they are called despoilers, is actually not cool that we are having this guy to deal with. So then why not do something like... No, I just saw that we would have fired through our terminators in the end, but anyhow. So two crits, that is good. Nothing to be ashamed of. Not the best, but nothing to worry about. Um, <laughs> a few critical hits here and there. So, if the bikers can move up, they will deal with those. This guy, nice. I may have done a little mistake and moved on too quickly here, but that I will find out in the next round. These crit were absolutely necessary, nice, bringing it down quite intensively. The question is, I mm, of course need to deal with this guy, I moved wrong, maybe I still can get to close combat. I need to deal with the soul grinder here and I think the best thing here is close combat. I really think so. I do not know whether these guys can do anything, but they, if they advance a little bit they can still take a few pot shots, although you can see they are not doing really much. Okay, ending our turn and now this is a really dicey situation as I always like to say 87 damage still I think that is too much 
But that is what I usually always say. Yes, at least one down, because these guys are very awesome in close combat. If they don't lose everything there. Down they are. Only good part is that we are going to have reinforcements in form. In form of our land speeder in the next round. But the damage output there in close combat against not only the Terminators but against our um, Dreadnoughts is absolutely amazing. So nice return fire like that. Absolutely amazing. Please hit back. Please hit back. Please hit back. Okay, we need support down here. And we needed that support five rounds. So my th I was a little off with my theory that the enemy is focusing completely on one side. There I was off the shot a little bit, I would say. Um, at least let's see how much damage you can do in close combat. Good, 150. Good, 125. Good, 150. That is what I wanted to see. At least 25, 23, and with a bit of luck, you can do quite good. Very low. Okay, 6 damage. That did a little bit more. 124 remaining. So next round, this guy should be down. This, sh this guy should be down. Let's switch around. Should have fired on them. So I have the weird feeling that we are going to need the land speeder down here. With a bit of luck, I'm already going to take this guy down. As I said, with a bit, little bit of luck, come on, come on, no. But 47 damage here, we can do in the next round. And with those four units, I definitely can take those guy, guys down. So the plan, whether that, of course, is going to work out or not, we will find out then. And not now. <laughs> so here, I will move this guy here. They are up to close. Nice crit. The choke grenades, targets... T target stun for two turns or the massive reduction of moral I think I go with the scare grenade on this side and then ooh did you see those crits absolutely astonishing brought these guys down then I can take a little bit of firing into those guys because to be honest I don't want to go into close combat with some of my units for example my terminators and my dreadnoughts so if you be so kind okay better than nothing so my terminators on the other side going to move right here fire in the side can i do anything there no then I'm going to move those guys up here. Uh, those guy, not guys. Well, at least a little bit. Can I maybe... Okay, there's one down. Uh -huh -huh. I wanted to use you against those guys. And you did as expected very, very well. So then I want to use my bikes as a fast moving unit which can fire for what I bought them for and take down the bloody screamer so one screamer up there remains so right now that is looking not bad um, at least for now where we do not know what kind of enemy units are still lurking in the back there could be of course very very bad units still waiting for us one more down 
one more down and land one last one but guys we will see the end here if there's going to be end in the next round for now i as a usual really thank you for watching if you have enjoyed this episode if you have anything to say any tips whatever whether it's positive or negative leave me a comment and for now i will see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye